Hey guys, welcome. It, it's your boy. We out here, MMA. Alex. The show hasn't show started podcast. yet. Obviously, Alex. Um, we had to do the giveaway from last week, dude. Oh shit! Why okay. don't you hit that start button? We can see who wins this Bruce Lee uh, collaboration with Bangarang T-shirt for uh, sponsored by Super Rare of last week's episode. Hit the start button. Nick, tell me when to hit it. <laughs> Already, three, two, go. That's exactly how conversations with his wife goes. Tell me when to hit it, babe. Hey, man. What? My bad. Alexo. 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 He, and his famous comment was, "Get some fans." Also, on. he Ooh. can't win because he. We had to do that over because he did not follow mm. the directions. <laughs> <laughs> so run it one more time. Sorry, Alexo. Alex, so remember, you got to you got to tell us who who won the fight, who's gonna win the fight, blah 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 blah, and all that. Yeah. Here we go. Nick. And go. Uh, uh, drum roll. I'm wow. Why don't you read guy. that comment? Why don't you read that comment for us? Sadly, I believe Hall first round TKO maybe by kick. I think Silva is just way past his prime, and Hall is too explosive. Mm -hmm. Also, his new coach is getting him to the next chapter of his career. IMO. Also, I would send the CBD rub to a poverty-stricken family in another part of the world because <laughs> you know poor people need CBD rub too. Probably more. Love you guys. Keep it up. Wow, I'm dude! What an I amazing mean, comment. Like I mean, he called it to the T. Also, and the bonus question. And and the bonus Dude. question? With, like, I, this guy shows that he has a heart of a fucking golden a retriever. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Slip. Only Make sure you uh, wow. email Dude. us or contact one of us on Instagram, uh, and then we'll get your information and have that T-shirt shipped out to you, get your size and all that good jazz. Guys, that was a foreshadowing for our fight recap. No recap. So why don't what? we start as a music? We upgraded, guys. Okay. <laughs> New budget. We upgraded, guys. We upgraded, guys. Up, up, upgraded, guys. Upgraded, upgraded, upgraded. It's the future. JBL is a mic I own. Sony is another mic I don't own. What's another brand? What's another brand? What's another brand? What's another brand? What's another, brand? What's another, brand? What's another brand? Road. Now you can tell like a bitch. Road. That's not so big. Come on, Nick. And now you talking big with your mouth. The ones that Filipino moms that use to sing karaoke. Yeah. All right, guys. That was our intro. A little bit different. We just named other brands that are not sponsoring us. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the We Out Here MMA, not podcast, but show. Wow, you guys look fantastic today. Nick's drinking coffee late at night. Alex, feel wearing good a today, bro. Alex, what is Thank that you. hat? And why do you feel good? You said you were tired 20 minutes ago. Because your boy's uh, COVID free. You know? hey. hey, congrats to Alex for being COVID free. <laughs> And I'm just got, re just got results in. Uh, yep, Alex, you have COVID now. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is also a Slayer hat, the band Slayer. I've seen them live in concert like 12 times. Oh. It's one of my favorite bands. They sing about death metal. In, or they sing about like devils and stuff. Alex, uh, I, I mean, Gilbert. <laughs> uh, Nick, are you COVID free? Uh, yes, as of Thursday. The I had a panic the attack the on pause Wednesday. Was too pause was too long. That was Friday, bro. Was it Friday? Yeah. I got a test on Thursday. And then Friday, got the results. Negative. Come oh, on, after baby. 45 hours of stressing and making everybody stress I out. I thought I had COVID, had but I knew I knew I did it, but I thought I had COVID. So I got decided it. to go to a training session where I could spread it to all my friends. Yeah, that was the worst What about thing. you, Gilbert? Hey, I'm going to have anxiety. Let me go see 20 people about it and scare them. Make Alex have to pay $500 for a rapid test. Guys, you know who doesn't have COVID? Dana Lee. Speaking oh. of and and I almost called him Dana Lee and <laughs> Dana, Dana Lee. Lee. <laughs> we have a fight recap. No recap. We have Silva versus Hall. It was our first live stream event. Um, that was fantastic. It was well planned. I told was the guys it though? one week before. Was it fantastic? And Nick, I told everyone one week before Alex was prepared. He had his mic. And Nick was at Dude. a quinceanera day of the dead party. Hey yo 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 quinceanera, bro. Are you serious? Serious. No fucking way it was a quinceanera, okay? It was just a regular Halloween party. All right. How many really? quinces have you been to? I have actually I've been, been to zero quinceaneras. One. And yeah, I'm going too. to my first one soon next week. I've only ever been to one. Next week, really? Yeah, I think so. Is it for oh, Salvadorians? Salvador it's a cousin. It's a cousin. Oh, MS 13. Oh. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, Whoa. Shout out. 13 you know. MS. What is there we go. That's better. That's, that's better. better. That's better. That's actually way better. That's MS. more politically correct. You know what else is politically correct? Uri Hall versus Anderson Silva. 
You played it right, baby. That's how uh, you play PR. Guys, Uriah Hall leading up to the fight. Very angry fighter. Uh, what was he saying? I think pe I think he was just really mad at the fact that pandemic hit and he lost his fight <laughs> earlier on. And it's just mm. people, I don't know. He, he just seems very, he was very tense during that week. And Anderson Silva, as usual, very chill. Wear a really cool white blazer with pink shirt. Something I felt like Nick would wear. Um, oh, thank you. And unfortunately, that night, as we all sat on a live stream where Nick had poor internet connection, <laughs> he witnessed Anderson Silva losing. I don't think Alex was really that sad. I felt sad. Uh, Nick, I think his Alex was born two years ago, so his favorite fighters are like, I don't know. Conor McGregor. Colby Veneretti. Cummington and Conor, Conor McGregor. And Veneretti, whatever that guy's name is. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, guys, man. Nick, um, was it age why Anderson Silva lost, or did Uriah Hall do something right? Here's the uh, thing. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, here, here's the thing. Here's Nick, uh, the thing. New That's segment, I mean. here's the thing. Go ahead. Uh, so, I feel like if Anderson fought Araya Hall, say before his seven fight losing streak, I would say, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I think Anderson would be able to beat him because mm. his last win was what, 2013 or 2012? No, he One. beat Derek Brunson. Yeah, Did he? Nick. Well, what that. year was that? Like 2017. Oh, I, for oh, or I like forgot that. they fought. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's his one fight that he won in the past, yep. last eight, right? Yeah. So. I would say, yeah, I think if the matchup happened earlier, I would definitely say Anderson Silva would be a clear favorite in that fight. Araya Hall, just, uh, I think he, he capitalized. Like, Do you think he looked good, though, for Uriah Hall? Or did he just yeah, look like Uriah Hall? He, he broke his record for most significant strikes landed in any of his fights, which was at 60. Who, Uriah Hall? So, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, that hey, a, but that was, uh, a jab. Brunson, that was called a jab. Brunson did get robbed, though. So, like, I mean, he. In my in everybody's eyes, Silva did lose that Derek Brunson fight. Mm -hmm. So re technically, he's right. Nick's right. Nick's right. Nick's right. Nick's right. Nick's right. Nick's no, right. I'm not. Um, I think age has a very big part of that fight because he was. You could say he was winning the first two rounds, maybe. Right. I would say that. Second round, that. Uh, maybe you'd say Araya Hall, but first round, I think for sure Silva won that fight. Uh, it's, you just, you just hate to see him try to do things that he used to be able to do. And it just not to that same effect anymore. You know, just like that last sequence, I got him dropped, man. It just, I feel like time and place for Anderson Silva and, mm -hmm. um, not I the time or think, place. Yeah. I just, he's 45, 46. Yeah. 45. I just don't think it's a good time for him to be fighting yeah, but Joe Biden guys at this level. But Joe Biden hmm. 72. And look how great he's doing. He's probably he might win tomorrow. Wow, this is Joe? not a political show. Sleepy Joe. Guys. <laughs> Alex is Trump twenty twenty shirt. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Alex. So um, we, I think we both felt the same way during the fight. I guess while we were actually live reacting to it, is we were like, "Damn, Anderson Silva looks good." Like Nick was saying, the first couple yeah. rounds. Then, what do you think happened in the end? Where it's like he started blitzing, but the blitzes were so slow. Mm. Like, do you think that was like him going? Oh, I'm still like I'm fast. Was that like? What? Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, Uriah Hall just did a good job on countering one of those blitzes. Mm -hmm. He eventually countered one of them and caught Silva with that like overhand hook that hit him right on his ear, and that was it. Like that's what's crazy to me is how how long Anderson Silva's been fighting and stuff that they didn't like they didn't change the game plan. Like after he got rocked really bad and stuff, like when he went back to the corner, why not say? Hey, don't do those blitzes when you're running straight into him with your hands not up or anything like that, right? Because that's exactly what got got him caught. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, because we were like at what we were like, I think on the second round we were at like 50 <laughs> seconds left, and Nick was still on the first round. First so round, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't react too much, but when he got dropped, I was like, "Fucking a, bro!" And then it was kind of just over from there. I mean, Uriah Hall started catching him because Uriah Hall in the second round only landed 11 punches and one of those punches was yep the uh you know the big punch that dropped him so it's a bummer it's it's sad to see him like go out like this because every time these people retire you want to see him go out on a win but I mean you're right I mean Anderson Silva's kind of doing this to himself because uh, he a lot of people have been saying Ben said 
for him to retire, but he keep on fighting. He keep on fighting. He got that spirit, you know. I honestly, I think he would have retired if he'd won. Of course, I yeah. Think he wants that one winning moment. Unfortunately, I don't think he's retired. I do not think the UFC is going to let him fight. Mm-mm. I think that unfortunately they're going to have to. He's going to go somewhere else to just get one win. Here's uh, the thing with that though, Gil. He has one more fight on his UFC contract, so he can't just go anywhere and fight anywhere. Mm-hmm. Dan is not going to so, want to. Dan is not going to want that fight. So I think he's going to be like, look. That, that's what I mean. So Anderson out. Silva's, um, unless he spends a lot of money to get out of his UFC contract, or unless they release him. But because Dana White respects him so much, I don't see him releasing Anderson. So Anderson legally won't be able to go fight anywhere. Uh, so shout out to Anderson Silva. We'll pour one out to you. This is an imaginary bottle. Boys to men. Cue music. Oh wait, don't. We'll get another copyright thing. Yeah, don't. We can't. Don't do that. We can't risk that anymore. Oh, Alex. Wow. Someone's. Uh, that's insane. He just that's chucked that Sprite. Emerson. Speaking of Sprite, Nick has new headphones. Don't know why he did that. All right, next fight. <laughs> Bryce- uh, I didn't hear that whole last portion. <laughs> I'm not. All right, guys. Bryce uh, Camo Shorts Mitchell versus Andre looks like a skinny Alex Feely. <laughs> wow. Bryce Mitchell. Does he, though? You know what? This is probably just like ignorance for me, but I never would associate someone with that accent and vibe to be such a good jiu-jitsu player. It's just yeah. such a fantastic combination. Why? Dude. They wrestle pigs and gators. What are you talking about? And there we go. That's when we have Raimi yeah. come on, and then we hear him. We hear uh, Bryce Mitchell say some Arkansas sayings, and then yeah. we have Raimi to break it down and to dice. And decipher then, it. Decipher then we bring, it. We bring two cameras there. They go to a Piggly Wiggly. They set up table and they talk about the UFC fights together. There we go, Ramey. There's your new show. Um, uh, Alex, we'll start with under you. the belt. That's what we'll we call start it. with you, Alex. Uh, in terms of Andre Feely, your uh, your twin. Uh, why didn't he get it done? He's a vet. Been there for seven years. What did he not do right? I just don't think he, his grappling was on par compared to, to uh, Thug Nasty. I think we all chose Thug Nasty in this fight, right? If I'm yeah. Really yeah. yeah, so like I had second thoughts going into this fight because I was like, man, Andre Feely is a beast. See, but, I I didn't like even when this fight was about to happen. I was like, dude, Thug Nasty finna be nasty on that one. You know nasty. Saying? He gonna be nasty. It was honestly crazy to me though because I mean Philly did get up a lot of the times, but Thug like he was able to like kind of just take him down a little bit at will after that first round, bro. He was just like, all right, I'm all right, I'm tired. I'm gonna bring you down real quick. All you right, control here. that fight. Yeah. He's good, bro. He's going to be real, real good. The whole thing with him is that he he has really good jujitsu, but he also has really good wrestling. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. And then his striking didn't look too bad. It didn't look the greatest. He's not the best striker in the division, but I think it's good enough for him to be able to get uh, higher up in the in the rankings on that on that flyweight yeah. division. But when he gets to people like but when he gets to like the Calvin Caters and Holloways and shit like that, I'm ex- I, I, I'd be surprised to see how he are. I'd be curious to see how he does with a striker of that level. Um, and like what people would take down the fence at that level, what he well, looks like. Well, uh, uh, jumping off that, Nick, uh, obviously Bryce Mitchell dominated uh, the ground. Uh, who do you give him next? Alex threw a couple of names out there. Who, who would you like? Who do you think the promotion should give him next? Or what would you like? Um, you know what? I would like to see him get tested with something, with somebody that Alex described somebody that has really good classically good takedown defense, right? Somebody like that. Um, But at the same time, it's like maybe like a Jeremy Steven. Hold on. Let me think like a Jeremy Stevens would be great. Well, what's his ranking right now? He's so he's, he's 15 now. I, yeah, I think Jeremy Stevens or like a Shane Burroughs who's ranked 11. Yeah. Or if they really want to, Sadiq, Sadiq Yusuf is ranked number 10. They can always Ooh, do Bryce Mitchell and Sadiq. That's a tough matchup for anybody. I bet nobody's rushing to fight that guy. Oh, you know what Danny we do? Gay. Bryce. Yeah. Oh, you beat me to it. You go Bryce Mitchell, Danny Gay. That's a good matchup because Danny Gay is very well rounded, but he's also a really good ground guy. Even and though uh, lost, even though he just lost, you give him. But that was up. a that was a close fight against a guy like uh, Cater. Calvin Cater. Yeah, that's true. no, I think that's a good fight. I think uh, I think that's a good fight, and I, I, and I think it's a good fight. Dude, the top ten of the featherweight division. <laughs> hey, do you think top, it's a good fight? And and I think it's a good fight. Nick, top ten. Uh, yeah, I agree with Alex for the eighth time. Um, <laughs> I feel like the top ten in featherweight division. Those are some really good guys, man. It's like, good, 
it's a really stacked division. And I feel like you could match Bryce Mitchell up with Dan Ige or maybe even Ryan Hall, bro. Yeah. Nobody wants to fight Ryan no. Hall. You know what? That'd be fun. That'd be a fun fight to watch. Two I mean, jiu-jitsu masterminds, yeah, you know. Exactly. How I think is in Ryan the grappling Hall in this streak, but no one will fight. I mean, I get what because he's a him, he, he's like he's like another Habib or like a, a Hamzat Chimaev, that right? Sucks. It's like he's it's so good low, at high risk, low reward, really yeah. kind of awkward, hard style to deal with. He he'll hook the shit out of BJ Penn. It's like, what do you do with yeah. a guy like that? I'm sure nobody wants to fight that guy. Other thing about Bryce Mitchell that I'll say that's interesting for the featherweight division is that there's besides him and Ryan Hall, there's not that many like grappling centric guys. I feel like everyone in the top 10 of the featherweight, they're Except pretty Brian good. Ortega. Yeah. But even then it's like most of their fights stay standing. Yeah. Like how many times do you see, you know, Brian Ortega take it to the ground on his terms? Yeah. So I feel like Bryce Mitchell presents a very unique matchup for a lot of the guys in the top 10. So I, like I think you plug yeah. and play. UFC is doing great with him too. They're really playing. I mean, the fact they gave him the camo shorts, they know they know the audience they're getting. They, they should know, have been done that. They know the region that he's representing. Uh, Theo Vaughn was there, so come on, uh, good move. He's gonna have. He's gonna be a star. All right, moving on to the next one really quick. Uh, I'm gonna just say uh, Maurice Green lost to Greg Hardy by a KO finish. Even though Maurice Green was like, "I'm fine, I'm fine," but like, bro, you're about to get smashed. Um, so let's just move on to the next one, guys. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Greg Hardy got a KO. Anything yeah, I don't have. Say about I don't that? Have anything to say. He used to play football. Great. I uh, called that fight. I mean, I, I told you guys, Greg Hardy was about to knock him out. So nah, You were all about Mar Maurice Green. You were like, man, he looks cute with those gap teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Alex loves gap Now teeth. Maurice Green's never going to do the show. Appreciate it, Gil. Oh, really? Because he's on this next fight. Uh, what? Guys, <laughs> Kevin Holland versus uh, the French guy, Taekwondo dude, who didn't get to do too much Taekwondo except that axe kick and snapped his neck. Hit his shoulder. Oh, was it a shoulder? Is that what happened? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Even though he was screaming neck, so it was shoulder. He probably just he, got like shot. Oh, did you you say it hit his shoulder, Nick? That's what I said, yeah. Oh, okay. No, we're, yeah. See, Gilbert, he said it, the kick hit his shoulder. Oh, hit his shoulder. Yeah, I yeah, thought you yeah. were saying I said neck, and I thought you were. No, because he injured his neck in that fight, which is which was scary a little bit. Oh, is that what the injury was? Yeah, it was his oh, neck. Oh, shit. When they but, fell down, he was like, my neck, my neck, my, my neck. neck. And, and then and Kevin oh. Holland said to him, your neck? Like, question mark, but didn't let go until the rep pulled him off. Yeah. But uh, Dana but White he has to, though. He has to. He has to do his job. Kevin Holland, I'm I, I'm glad he he reached out because yeah. I like him a lot. But, but really quick about <laughs> the guy, the, the uh, he nothing uh, – Terrible with his neck, so nothing serious. They ran MRI okay, scans, good. all that. It was just, I think, a tweak that just kind of scared him as anyone Pinch would be nerve. scared. Oh, this guy, check out his website, www.liftgod.com. <laughs> Liftgod.com. Uh, guys, uh, Kevin Holland, guys making waves. Four fight win streak. You can uh, argue like he didn't really win some of those fights, whatever. He didn't even really beat this guy. The guy hurt. Hey, I rewatched that Darren Stewart fight. I honestly think he, he did good. I don't know why he thinks yeah. he lost that fight. Yeah, he was so was convincing. Close. He was so close. convincing talking to Dana White. I was like, "Yeah, Kevin Holland, you're a piece of shit. You lost that fight." <laughs> but then yeah. when I rewatched it, you're right. It seemed like so he got three he actually, knockouts. He actually yeah. got three knockouts. He KO'd him three times in that fight. That's not yeah, crazy. No, he didn't. Crazy. But it was a good fight, though. It was a very good yeah. fight. Uh, I Kevin, think yeah. Kevin Holland's on a rise. Uh, and then also, he Izzy was chirping uh, sound effects in him. He was talking fight. some shit. What do you guys Kevin, think about that? Kevin Holland, uh, he's just working it up. He's smart. Uh, yeah, he says smart. he wants Mike Perry next. That'd be a fun fight. That's what I thought. We'll talk about that a little later. Nick, oh, what? The fight news. Uh, <sighs> any guys have any thoughts on this fight or just Kevin Holland in general? Uh, yeah, I think Kevin Holland deserves a actual name now. And I don't think they need to give him, like, because they've been giving him, like, 15, like, or they've been giving him, like, 13, 14, 15, and they keep falling out. Give him someone in the 10 just so he can get a Neil Magny. Fight. Boom. Yeah, a 170 exactly. or 185? What I, oh, he's a 185, right? So Oh yeah, shit. I'm yeah. tripping. Yeah. Hamzat. See Hamzat. Anybody in the mind, 10, bro. I mean, he could do Hamzat he too. He called bro. out Hamzat too. <laughs> Alex, what? <laughs> Alex. He goes like this. Oh. <laughs> like that. What are we doing here? Can we get an official sound effect? This is it. This is the official sound. <laughs> it's the WOH morning news in the evening. <laughs> Guys, first piece of news is 
is Khabib really a retired question mark? Uh, recent news, I don't know if I'm saying news, but recent uh, things have been said by Dana White. Allegations. Um, Allegations of Dana White and saying they're trying to make the third, uh, the thirtieth fight. Everyone kind of knows that Khabib has been trying to go thirty and zero because it was one of his father's wishes. But he also made a promise to his mother that he wouldn't fight. Who holds more power, the mother or the father? That Mom. is really what this is all about. Mother kind of, always. Kind of true. And he said this on um, record. That is. He true. said this on record. He says, "I listen to my mother more than my father." Damn, Alhamdulillah. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. True. It's on uh, record. Also, uh, which is really interesting, if you've seen past champions such as Henry Cejudo or uh, let's even say that John Jones, as soon as they say they're relinquishing the bet or they're retiring, boom, UFC yanks that right away, sets up the next match. I'm pretty sure Perion was fighting for a title fight as soon as Henry Cejudo put his gloves down. But the fun thing about Habib is no mention of stripping the belt yet, which is very interesting. Actually, the I opposite. Think- the opposite, they're going to let him keep the belt forever. Yep. Every year will be in some fight <laughs> for the rest of the time. But what I think that it's a thing where UFC is waiting, honestly. Dana White has talked about mm-hmm. um, Habib being very – like he's like, did you see all the emotion he let out? Let's let the guy just heal. He's never been – he never said he was going to push him to fight another fight or go into negotiations. It was kind of very like, we'll see what happens. I think here, – here's one of one, what I think. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. What I think. Depends on what uh, you're going to say. I love when he gets this close to the mic and he goes, y'all know what I think. Nick, Dang. that's so loud. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I think Dana White is still salty about Conor McGregor releasing those messages that he's going to keep Habib the champion until Conor McGregor fights Dustin Poirier because he doesn't want to give Conor the title right away. So I think he does that fight, and right after that fight's done, then the lightweight becomes vacant, and then it's Gaethje versus the winner of that first title. Yo, can I say something? I was thinking something very similar to what Alex was thinking without us even talking. Mm-hmm. So repeat what I he just fe- said then. Let's see if it's the same thing. So yeah. what I was going to say was I think that to the same note of what Alex was saying, I don't think Dana White wants Connor to be champion because I think he's going to be a pain headache. in the ass. It's I, think, I think he might – like what if he leaves? Do we know if he's going to defend the belt? Is he going to stick around? He's going to retire for the fifth time. Yeah, like, is he going to fucking try to go to 170? Like, you never know what you're what you're dealing with, Connor. And I feel like mm-hmm. the UFC taking a year off of Kiner, uh, off of Connor, essentially. Kiner? Calvin Kiner? Kiner? What? Calvin <laughs> Kiner. Kiner Gracie. You know, he's a new one coming <laughs> up. Like, uh, But I feel, feel like them taking some time off of Connor, they realize, like, hey, this business runs pretty well without it, it Connor. It keeps moving. It keeps it moving. It keeps moving. You know, so... If Connor wants to come in here after a year layoff, cool, man. That scared the fuck out of me. I was like, what the fuck? That literally scared the shit out of me. Can scare, I borrow that? Scare cam. Rewind that, Nick's face. Go ahead, Nick. Like that. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much I agree with Alex because we're buddies. And Gilbert, whatever your opinion is, it's stupid. Boom. Fuck you, Gil. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go. I don't know what Alex's take was on um, the Habib retiring thing, really, but uh, I think uh, Habib t- does one more fight. I really I think, think he here, does here's, it. Here's why I don't, right? Here's the thing, because if he's going to fight again, it's going to be GSP. GSP already said he's not doing 155. Mm-hmm. So they would have already taken him out of the title thing and just made that fight with GSP somewhere. Yeah. I straight up think that they're doing it because they don't want Conor to become champ right away. I really think that's what it is. I think Dana White is still mad at him for releasing those text messages, and this is his form of punishment. So, Yonor McGregor. Israel Adesanya, Adesanya. Adesanya. is fighting for the 205 belt, which is basically a championship fight that John Jones used to fight for. And guess who he's fighting for it? Fighting with? Shamayev. What? <laughs> no, it's Jan Blachowicz. Uh, guys, I think we all saw this coming, especially after Robert. I, if, I don't know if you saw his post-fight interviews. He's just kind of like, I'm not really like, like I'm just waiting for like, just like, I'm not trying to ask for fight. Like, the hammer pulled me off. No, I, but that? no, what, what I don't understand. That? What movie is that? <laughs> Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. You know what I don't understand, though, is Dana White said that, oh, Robert Whitaker doesn't want this fight. But from when I watched his press conference, he said, I don't. If they give me the fight, they give me the fight. He's like, I'm not gonna sit here and beg for it. That's basically what he said in the yep. sense. Yeah, but, but he's not con- like and, campaigning for it, I guess. 
I know, but still, like, but when Dana White goes and said uh, Robert Whitaker doesn't want yeah, this fight, it's like Dana White is a, that's a promoter having to just he just has to justify everything so people go along with whatever yeah. fight he makes. All and I, I know like is Jan is knocking out Izzy, bro. Hey, you know what? That's a hot take, and uh, I'll put Thanks. some stock into it. I'll put I'll put fifty I'll put fifty socks on that. Oh, sounds mm-hmm. like a Nick Dunn pick. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. gonna say I am leaning towards Jan. I don't think I'm people, going think Izzy, people, bro. It's, it's Izzy. I have here in the in the notes that uh, Izzy is a uh, a favorite, and I don't, I cannot believe he's a favorite. I get why visually for the Oz makers, but like, bro, dude, one those Dominic Reyes kicks that he threw to Izzy is done. Yeah. Hey, but Izzy won't be there though, bro. He's a ghost. The question is, does Izzy have enough power to break a jaw of a man that huge? That's I think he just. Question. What if he just pieces him up for five rounds? Bro, the last time a middleweight came up and challenged Jan, he fucking took his jaw off of his face, bro. Yeah, and but that's that Luke. Was... That's Luke Rockhold. Lu- exactly. Luke Cockhold. Cuckold. Hey, how about this? Luke, Luke Rockhold in his prime versus Izzy. No. Why, why, hey, hey, look, look, look. hey, real quick, look, look. Okay, right, what does Alex do? He goes like this. Ask that to me again. Hey, hey. Uh, all right, hold on. Ready, 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 ready. Hey, who do you think wins? Luke Rockhold in his prime or Izzy? Hey, Gil, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's Alex. Here's Alex. Ask me the question. Hey, uh, Gil, who do you think wins in their prime? Luke Rockhold or Izzy? Hey, Nick, that's what I feel. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's going Izzy on that. Hey, ready? Here, here's what I feel. <laughs> oh, Gabby, I insert the clip, please, of the insurance company. I'll stay or whatever. You're in. Well, good guys, for we'll find we'll find out uh, what happens with that. I think I believe that's happening in March. Uh, guys, John Jones uh, chases a robber off his lawn um, with a shotgun. With a shotgun, does that make him goat? Yeah. <laughs> Does that help his case for go? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Absolutely. Know why? He protected his family, bro. Hey, in shot. He just went higher than Hab- <laughs> Habib was here. John Jones with the robber. He, John Jones said that he like ended up chasing this guy. He's like, make sure you're fast enough to run away from somebody when you rob him. Because I guess John Jones caught up to him when the guy was in his car, and he said he tapped on his driver window with his shotgun. Yeah, that would like, be scary. <laughs> Not John Jones, but the. Isn't that funny? It's uh, John Jones on the other side of the window this time, knocking on the window. Oh. Wow. Hey. Can you open up, sir? Hello? Hello? Like that? Get it because hey. it's DWI. Uh, but yeah, you, you know why I don't have John Jones go after that is, is watching him run after the guy was the fu- It's like he had the gun like this, not even holding it like a tactical way. He's just holding it out in front. Head. And then he did like a weird like skid. Skid. Like, hey, it's like, what? Khabib wouldn't do that. Khabib would crawl on the ground like 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 Jacare towards the guy. That's no, because Habib would have had thirty five people running after that guy, dude. He would have oh. dropped down like an eagle, like that. Dude, like I, feel like, I feel like I feel like I feel like Habib has like twenty people in his house at all times. I think yeah. so. They're all COVID that full, free. Yeah. That fool runs deep, bro. Yeah, bro. Imagine. We gotta, get to, we gotta start hanging out with some Dagestani homies, dude. Like, no, I feel like you, that would that would add a lot to ask our Asian our, people to hang around with you. I don't, bro. I don't ask for Asian people. Asian people just come to me. Nick, the ear training, ding, and then we have a little Asian person. Right oh, yeah, my yeah, bad. yeah, my bad. No, we have a little Asian. Pr- oh, <laughs> all, Al- all Alex <laughs> thinks of Asian people is that we just drink boba all the time. Well, you guys created the best thing in this world, and it's called boba drinks. Very you good know reversal. You try to reverse that <laughs> reversal of a racist comment. I love it. This guy. Hey, what's so the matter crazy. with you, dude? Hey guys, it's our Quick Pick Picks with Alex Lifgaard Agosta and Nick the Ear Dune. Nick it's Dune. It's my name. Our first fight, Tiago's, oh, Alex is highlighting all the fights and it's ruining it my screen right now. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Google Docs so we all can see what's happening. Uh, we have Tiago Santos versus Glover, the 41 year old Teixeira. Guys, what do you think about this fight? Is Tiago Santos knocking out Glover? Is Glover. Taking him down and choking him. Alex, I like your 90 degree angle. Go ahead. Thiago Santos knocks out Glover to in the first round. But what Glover Glover's... knows how to box too. That's fine. He's gonna go catch a kick and then it's gonna open up the hand. And then he's gonna go ahead. And then he gonna knock, he's gonna go sleep. He gonna sleep. He's gonna, go, he gonna go sleep. But let's put this in a perspective, okay? First of all, uh Tiago uh, fought in July 6, 2019 against John Jones, and he lost. Glover. Did he, though? 
But but also he also beat Kevin Holland, which I just realized, which is crazy. Did you know that he fought Kevin Holland? Dude, Kevin Glover? Holland fought a lot of people. No, Kevin Holland fought Tiago Santos. Oh, did he's he? fought a lot of people. That's so random. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> but and then uh, Glover. Age oh, that's my bad. Glover. That's uh, he's won his past. Four fights. And let me just give you the list of people he lost to, which I think is actually a pretty impressive list to lose to. Corey Anderson, Gustafson, uh, Anthony Johnson, Phil Davis, and John Jones. That's uh, it's not that, it's a, that's called experience. Dude, Gustafson, Gustafson beat the, f- f- the f- f- out of him, bro. That was one of the great greatest finishes I've ever seen. The combinations. Uppercut, 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 yeah. bro. Hey, was- no, what's funny, though, I remember the Kevin Holland <laughs> fight with Tiago. It was a last-minute fight. Uh, and what's it called? I remember the whole time Kevin Holland was just talking like, damn, you strong. Damn, you strong. Like, that was the funny That's thing. That's a good like, impression. <laughs> everybody was making, like, having fun. He's with so it. funny, dude. I like that guy. All right, Nick, but, who do you have? Uh, Kevin Holland, next fight. Okay. No, you know what? I think I'm, I'm kind of back and forth on this. I can totally see Glover what? Teixeira. Yeah, I can see Glover Teixeira squeezing out a decision, maybe a, a late finish with submissions. So I think I think Santos is the heavy favorite. I think for a good reason, but I think Glover Teixeira could pull this off with a late round submission, maybe Ooh. third, maybe even fourth or fifth. Who knows? Nick the ear undecided on who wins, and also undecided on how it finishes. I'm gonna go with Nick the ear because I love the way he speaks. I'm going Glover Teixeira uh, with submission, honestly, with a submission at 41 years old. And guess what? He will fight uh, if Jan beats Izzy. He will fight Jan. And we have a battle of just guys with thick necks. Uh, co-main event, uh, Andre, even older than Glover, Shara <laughs> Arlovsky versus Tanner. Don't know who this is. Bozier. Bozier. Mm-hmm. It's Bozier. 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 100% uh, it's Bozier. Who you guys yeah. got? You got uh, Andre uh, Affliction, Arlovsky, or no? Yeah, I feel like uh, if you were fighting in the promotion for Affliction – in one of their first shows, I think you should probably stop fighting. I love Andre Arlovsky. That's a good point in terms of time. Just in terms yeah, of time. same with like, you could say the same argument with Anderson Silva. Like he's been fighting for so long and he's still fighting to this day. So with Andre Arlovsky, I think his last fight was, was it a, was it a win? Uh, he, he, lost. he won oh, he in uh, May uh, May thirteenth. Uh, yeah, I, I remember. And then I lost remember to uh Yeah, so that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So uh, I feel like his last fight was a little lackluster. So I think you got to give it to the young head, Tanner Bozer, Bozier. When Nick says head, that's interesting. We're talking sloppy toppy, my guy. Thoughts. All right, Alex, lift God. We're talking blowjobs. I, I got a, uh, I got Tanner Bozer. Tanner Bozer is actually really good, and for a heavyweight, he's a lighter heavyweight. He usually comes in like at around two thirty ish, I believe, and he has really good footwork, foot like footwork and that type of stuff. I remember last time he fought. I remember David was texting us like, "Damn, this Bozer guy moves really good for a heavyweight. He has real good footwork. He's really fast, um, and his striking's good. I mean, he's coming off of three finishes right now, and." Or two finishes, I believe two finishes. I think he, I think he wins. I don't. Andre Avlovsky used to have no chin, and then all of a sudden he has a pretty decent chin nowadays. You know. All right, right guys, uh, we got our next fight. Uh, we have Barcelos versus Taha at bantamweight. I'll be honest, I don't know too much of these fighters, so I'll let you guys go ahead. Who do you guys got? I'm gonna go t- uh, the other guy, not Tahas, but the other guy. What's his name? Reoni Barcelos. Marcelo. That fool's, uh, I think Taha got popped for steroids or something crazy. So that's why you're not picking him? Yeah. I just Taha also, no, this is why. Because Taha knocked out Nick's boy, Boston Salmon. And, oh, yeah. And, and that's Nick, right. Nick's still mad about it, bro. Hey, hey. Taha, yeah, bro. That fool, he tested positive. So I'm going to go against, I'm going to go Barcelos, my guy. And he's actually, a, he's an animal, this guy. All right, this Alex, guy. What about you? This guy, brother. Uh, I think Taha will win. I think he'll win the decision. Yeah. Wow, I'm gonna, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Barcelos because his last fight he beat Anugamedov. Anugamedov. Oh, did he? Anugamedov, which is a legit thing to do. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Next fight's good. Ian Heinz versus Brendan Heinish. Heinish versus Brendan Allen. I'm gonna just put my pick first. I like this guy a lot. He's an LFA champion. Uh, give it up for your boy who's on a four fight win streak in the UFC, Brendan Allen. Yep, hundred yeah. percent. I'm going with Brendan Allen. Brendan Allen is really good. 
Uh, he showed a lot of. I mean, even in his last fight, he got his. I think he got his orbital broken, right, or some shit like that. Yeah. He got elbowed and still was fighting really good. He beat a really good guy in the 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 Daskus, right, or something like Daskus or some yeah. shit. Daskus. Brandon Allen is really good. I think he's gonna be a, a really good contender for the the thing. Uh, him and Ian Hine are supposedly the thing? cool. The yep. thing. For the thing, you know, that you get if you win all of the fights, you get the thing. Cool. Uh, I think he's going to win. I think Ian Heinish is a good test for him because Ian Heinish has looked good his past couple fights. Um, but, yeah, Brendan Allen. Uh, Nick, who you got on this fight? I got Brendan Allen. Guys, that's 3-0 for Brendan Allen. So, if the other homeboy wins, oh, we're terrible at doing this. Ha-ha. Then you have to die your hair blonde. Oh, we got to do that contest again. Uh, Claudia <laughs> Gadelia versus Jan, uh, Peter Jan. <laughs> Peter, uh, Chinese Peter Yan. Uh, I don't know how to say her name, so I'm not going to butcher it, but just Yan. <laughs> Chinese Ow. Peter Yan. Yeah. Xia, Xia uh, oh, that's dude, pretty her last, good. Her last, I mean, she's also got a pretty cool little run here. She's got, she beat uh, Carolina. She beat Angela Hill. And uh, she's this chick is on a five fight win streak. Okay. Not bad in the UFC. Uh, who do you guys got? Gadelia? Yeah, I know. I'm Surprise. going with my girl. I'm going with my girl. Gadelia? Nope. Your sister. Peter Yan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Peter, female Chinese, Chinese Peter Yan. Yeah. She's an animal, bro. She's pretty good. I feel like uh, Claudia is obviously the phrase, favorite for good reason, but I'm going to go China all day, baby. There you go. The topic of the political landscape right now, China. Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead, Alex, while you yeah, research I got, all your stuff during the show. I got, I got hurt. No, I was just looking at I was looking at uh, Claudia's Post, last Postmates, last couple yeah. fights. No, no, I think uh, I think Jan. I think Claudia. Well, in her, especially in her last fight, she fought Angela Hill. Is I she thought gone? she, I thought she completely lost that fight. Wow. Like I thought it was clear as day that she lost against Angela Hill, but she won. Uh, this girl she's fighting is a young girl and she's really really good. Uh, she's, she's really Nick's, Chinese. She's she's Nick's sister. Uh, so like, you know, she's gonna win. Racist kid. Oh, Gil. On, I mean, on Alex. On Alex. <laughs> she probably likes Boba too. So. Probably. Oh wow, dude. I love Boba. Ba, 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 ba. Check out hey, Gil, Gil Gab reaction hey, Gil. videos right here. <laughs> Yo, guy. <laughs> hey, no, no, hey, know what you can do? You can, um, you can send me boba, and I'll record myself drinking it, and then you guys can do a Gil Gab reaction video of me drinking the boba. That you <laughs> hey, send. hey, Alex is gonna drink all of it. He's like, yeah, that one's pretty good. This is milk tea. This one's pretty good. Brown sugar milk tea. This one's I like really your good. impression of Alex. You get the the, the the lip smacks. That's very key in the impression of He's Alex. Like, Oh, you know, Ben. Oh, you know, it out pretty. It out pretty good. Yeah, I it out today. <laughs> <laughs> it good. Have you been around? Oh, Rouse is like Vaughn. Hey, Rouse is, is like Vaughn. That's no. Alex about. That's Alex about everything in hey, this that's, world. That's Dude, that's Rouse the name of this shit, episode. Though, Rouse is like Vaughn. That's about good. Okay, home bar. All right, guys. Uh, that's our show. <laughs> Ending it really strong. It's all. <laughs> All the stuff about MMA, that last part of this 30 seconds of the show is all about MMA. Uh, Alex, where can we find you? What do you got going on these days? Can people hire you for any kind of training or are you just chilling and doing your Twitch thing? What are you doing, Alex? Yeah, bro. You can hire me for if you want me to hold some mitts for you. Hey, one of the best want, in the game. If you, want me to, uh, if you want some strength training. One of the, also one of the best in the game, might I add? Uh, dang, hey, dang. Uh, <laughs> um, <is> live on. <laughs> and then you can also like just find me on Twitch. You can find me on the gram. But yeah, hit me up for training if you're in need of training. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it, bro. I'm just chilling, uh, you know, living my bad life. Nick, I hear you're doing online training, and actually people are losing weight. Is that true or false? Are the allegations true or false? Allegations are false. You should hit up Alex for all your strength training and weight loss needs. Okay. That was oh. it. Don't check out. You sure, Nick? You know I Just say your website. Hey, I'm a terrible coach, here, terrible bro. trainer. <laughs> don't bang my line. Hey, bang I don't like his, when people, hey, bang like when shit, people be calling me and bugging me. Like, don't, hey, don't hit me shit, up. Bro. Don't hit me up. But also, if you guys want to see a little quick video of uh, Nick cornering do his friend Alex, also oh. just check. Oh, you want to put the other video up? Okay. Oh, I, <laughs> I misread the situation, and I'm going to shut up. Thank but you. Patrick T. Riley is your friend. You go, it's a really fun fight. He fights another uh, friend of theirs, of ours, I guess. Uh, Christy, uh, I forgot his name. I already forgot his last his handle. What's his handle? Chris, Chris Sosa. Is that you sure that's his handle? Yeah. 
I don't Chris know. Sosa. C R I S S Chris Sosa. It's Chris Sosa comedy, no? I don't know, bro. Did what hear me? Hey, can you, oh, give me give me your best impression of me coaching, uh, Gil, in that video. Oh, I gotta rewatch it. I want to get it right. No. Now, so you know. More jabs, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's keep it on the body, yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah. If, if I take the Head same movement, sentence, yeah. If I take the same sentence I did for Alex, I go, this would be Nick. He'd be like, dude, um, uh, 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 Vaughn's is kind of like Rouse, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you would do it you that's, can take yeah that's nick as alex acosta i get it that's pretty good guys we love you so much thank you for being here make sure you uh like uh hit the like button hit the notification button you just comment here because we have a question a fun question no giveaway this week but we have a great question that's going to be brought to you by uh because uh 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 alex gilbert La nick nice try so my question is that i want you to comment below would you like to see us do more live streams of the fights together very good yes or no question. or or fuck off either one works Don't you just let us know say fuck off in the comments it hurts our feelings say yes girl yeah 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 a lot of yeah be like you know this is what this is what nick meant would you want to see us do more live streams yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. only yes is what yeah? i can answer yeah jab yeah like pat's like yeah <laughs> yeah like, Something, that, yeah that hooks there all day yeah yeah. Like, I think, yeah. It's like, yeah, <laughs> but I can't tell because you say yeah behind everything. Like, yeah. Hey, what do you think that is? Do you think I have a, a neurological issue? Do you think I, I have a tick yeah. or something? I think it's because you want affirmation because you're afraid of the answer no. So you're making sure you just say yeah. Just imagine, say yeah. Imagine say Pat's no. like, no. And then Nick's no. like, he just crumbles in the corner and stops coaching and starts uh, crying. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, you know what happens now? We play this song by the artist formerly known as Chave Chave, and he's now known as Cliff God. <laughs> Chave Chave. It's I, li yeah. oh, I like it. Right right I like the bigger speaker better. Gabby, keep this on. Keeping bitches with the big ass. Performing big moves and the big cash. Wow, dude, your chest is you like a baby. Big clout. I can't tell that's a booty or a chest. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm gonna have to show you what we do. Hey. What you thought this was, Liv got hurt. Guys coming up on the mark. Uh, silly hoe. Uh, this shit is in my face. Yeah, I'm not COVID, though. Corners with no care, no love. Dumb hoe. You big slow, moving like a slug. I got four.